Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over what ended up changing with armor, weapon damage, and some of the new items added in the game. Just what it was pre-patch and what it is now post-patch. This data sheet that you are seeing, the spreadsheet is made by Kaj at the top right. You can actually see his name right here. He finally went through and did an update on everything that came in this patch. So really awesome for him. We uh, thank Gaj a lot for getting this data mine values for us. So to begin, this update came out on the 10th of this month, so November 10th. And we're gonna start out with damage value changes, starting out with the rifles tab. This spreadsheet is gonna be in the description so you can quick reference it. This is a very well-made spreadsheet and I recommend you guys uh, bookmarking it for yourself for later on usage. So the M50 got buffed by four damage. It is now stronger. The SVT got a tiny bit of a nerf by two damage. The K1 was increased. The STG was increased. The heavy MG42 actually got increased. The bar got an increase. The Johnson was decreased by one damage. The Bren was also increased, as you can see, to 36. It was from 32 to 36 now, so four damage increase. The DP-28 actually also got a increase. The EM-2 is the new rifle added in the game, and it can be found in supply drops from Kingdom Alliance. It can also be found in bolts or in weapon boxes, as well as the SAS Navy operatives and captains have a potential chance of having one. And the Karasa also got a damage increase. That's the rifle changes. For the SMGs, the PPSH got an increase of one damage and the M45, that nine millimeter only found in raid, was also increased. Secondary weapons, they added a new revolver called the Webley. It's a 32 ACP. It is actually really good and has almost zero recoil when hip firing it. Actually, funny enough, when you ADS with it, it seems to have more recoil than hip firing. That one is starting out at a 30 damage. The Luger was decreased by one damage. Mosin Obrez was decreased by 11 damage. The well rod was also decreased. Shotguns were reworked. They made the spreads tighter or bigger depending on the type of shotgun they are. I will also be including the patch notes as well. I'm not gonna go over each individual weapon about what they changed about all of them besides the damage. Uh, but in that link that also will be in the description, if you read through all the patch notes, it'll tell you like which shotgun has better spread or worse spread. So the double barrel was increased by two damage per pellet. Do realize that these damage values are not the whole damage, this is per pellet. So sawed off the shotgun for the pistol slot one was increased by two damage. The jackhammer was also increased by two damage. Trench gun, same thing. The terminator as well. And the liberator shotgun was increased by three damage. Miscellaneous weapons like the flamethrower was decreased by quite a significant amount by five damage. The combat knife was also nerfed. The hunting knife was lowered as well. Machete no longer one hits to the head. It is now takes two hit shots to the head to kill someone. And the bowie knife was also decreased. So that's going to complete what they changed in the damage values for all the guns currently in the game. The other guns were untouched. That's why you don't see them labeled in here and their damage differences. Like the MAT-49 was not touched. Recoil patterns of weapons were touched. Uh, jump shotting is way harder now. I'm sure a lot of people are happy about that. Some people might be upset. Uh, hip firing was increased for a lot of weapons. It's no longer good from medium range. It's really only good close range now. But we're going to step into the biggest update that I believe the game did, which is the body armor changes. Body armor used to only be from level 3 to level 10. It is now increased from 3 all the way to 12. 
Armor values are still calculated the same way. There is no change. It is the damage of the weapon minus the armor number times the multiplier of whether it's a headshot, which is a three times multiplier now, or times one, which is a body shot. So to begin, full panzer is still the best armor. It was increased from level 10 to level 12. It is now the best armor. Panzer armor, that red panzer, is no longer sold by the traders anymore. And they made it the level 11 armor now, so it is the second best. Panzer rigs, same, same as always as the red panzer. It's level 11, but with pockets. A full plate is now the old panzer level, which is level 10. So full plate is level 10 armor now. Plate rig is level 9. There's no. Uh, it used to be level 8 back uh the one that you can craft that has the 12 slots it is now level nine the half plate is level nine now that was what was replaced in the shop for the panzer armor the red panzer was replaced with half plate the ba flak vest is level eight the m3 flak vest is level eight the m1 flak rig the m1 flak vest and the m2 flak vest are all now level seven so your traders, instead of selling level 6 armors, they're selling level 7s. The leather jerkin was not changed. Uh, ignore that on this spreadsheet. It's still level 6. And the pouch rig was also untouched, which is the one you get on the rust bucket. For the helmets, the heavy stall helm is now the best helm in the game. It is not the M5 helm that you used to be able to craft. It's that heavy stall helm usually found on commandos. It is from level 9 to level 12. So now it is the best. The full panzer and heavy stall helm is the best set you can wear. The Alton helm, known as the PSH helmet, is now the level 11. The M5 helm that used to be the best is still level 10. The welding mass was increased to level 9. The riot helm that prisoners wear that has that cage, that baseball cage helmet, that one's level eight. The BA helmet, which is worn by the SAS operatives, is level, still level six. The stall helm that you can buy from the traders is level seven instead of level six. The security helm was increased to level seven. The Brody helmet is now a level seven helm. The light stall helm was increased to level 7. Uh, so I do apologize. When I said the, the stall helm that's level 7, that one was actually, I believe, it's level 8 now. That's the red panzer helm. Uh, the light stall helm is the one that you can buy from traders, which was increased by the one level, as I stated. The M1 helm was increased to level 7. The pirate helm, which is the... Uh, I'm blanking on which one that one is. That one was increased by one level. The reinforced ha hat that you find on dead bodies, typically. Um, that one was not touched. The civilian helm was not touched. And the leather cap was increased to level 5 from level 4. The commando cap the beret and the two berets were increased to level 4. And the cloth cap was untouched that the trader sells. That's going to conclude what the body armor changes were for helmet and your regular chest armor. It was a significant increase. It came out to, in the update, it was a 20% increase. As you can see, from 10 to 12, it's 20%. So armor values are better. As I said, headshot multipliers got nerfed from 3.5 to 3 times, which means it, no gun in this game anymore will one-shot someone to the head except the flare gun. The flare gun is the only gun in the game that will one-shot someone still. Otherwise, the increased TTK has changed. It's going to take a couple more shots to kill someone, but you will not straight up get one tap by a player if you're at full HP anymore, unless you get hit with a flare gun. In addition to all this, the large first aid kit was increased from 50% HP to 75%, so that's significant. Pretty much from 0 H, if you're at 1%, you're going to 76% instantly in 5 seconds. Really big buff. 
The supply drop changes for Kingdom Alliance, they included the EM-2 rifle and the Sten drum mag. You can buy the Sten drum mag from the trader that sells the Sten, which is Kingdom Alliance. So you can buy it from their vendor once you level it up, or you can get it from the supply drops. They added the Webley revolver into the loot tables that you can find in Raid, as well as it's sold by the vendor now. Uh, prison and Navy got added a depot, just like the other three maps that Terraformer, Iridium Mine, and Spaceport have. They now have a depot in Penal Colony and in Outpost, Navy Outpost. So checking their, the dead prisoner bodies or commando bodies found in the Navy, you have a chance to find the token to access the depot there. And for the pirate strong uh, correction, for the pirate supply drop, they no longer sell it. It is now just part of a regular loot table of you finding them. You can also get the EM2 rifle from it. So that's going to be the major changes that happened in this update. Armor was met, like really significantly overhauled, and I think that's a great addition. The gun damage were decreased and increased for guns that were using high calibers, excluding the SVT and Johnson. They were nerfed a tiny bit. But high caliber weapons are your go-to friends now compared to the low caliber weapons if you plan on killing someone quicker. We're just going to scroll over to a couple things to show you. For meme weapons, I'm going to go down to the level, 10, uh, level 12 armor tab. And as you can see, the flare gun can still one tap. So it's an instant kill if you hit the head. For the last thing I will be going to is the trader shops. Traders were also overhauled. And by overhaul, they increased the price of some items so you couldn't like buy and sell them for more money. And they made it because money's a little easy to get in the game. They made it so it's a little bit more expensive. So it hurts your bank a little bit when you're purchasing. As you can see, the stock for the Uzi is no longer sold. So you actually have to craft the Uzi stock now if you want the stock. Kingdom Alliance, they did an overhaul of the Sten. You now can buy a Sten Compensator and the Sten Drum Mag, but the stock for the Sten actually has to be crafted now, as well as the Suppressor. And for pirates, they got rid of the Luger and they added in the Webley revolver. And they also got rid of the supply drop at level eight and they changed it in for the machete. Overall, that's gonna be what the massive changes were. There is a couple more. I just don't wanna bore you guys with details that I don't feel are really significant. As I said before, the spreadsheet's going to be in the description as well as the Steam update of the health update so you can read through the patch notes. Hopefully all of this helps you all and uh, hopefully you're enjoying these changes. They already have talked about the next patch next month a little bit, so I can't wait to see what we're getting in that one. You all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.